Hey everybody, the 2024 Irma, otherwise known as the shadow tax, very spooky. Want to make sure everybody knows about this, want to make sure we understand how it works and want to know how we can make exceptions and adjust our situation for it. So let's start by reviewing what the Irma is. It's the income related monthly adjustment amount to your Medicare premium. So if you make too much money, they want more from you. That's really what it is. It's otherwise known as a wealth tax. So let's take a look at this. They look back two years. So they're looking at 2022's tax return. If you haven't filed that yet, then they're going back to 21. If your income as a single person, the modified adjusted gross income, Maggie, in 2022 is 103 or less as a single person, your premium is $174.70. That's your Medicare premium. You look at uh, Part D, which is the drug plan, whatever your premium is, it is. And as you go up, you will have to pay more. As you have more income, more Maggie, modified adjusted gross income, the more you will have to pay. So you hit the 103, you go over that all the way to 129, you got to pay 244. So that's what an extra 70 bucks a month every month for a whole year until they recalculate the next premium looking at 2023's tax return, okay? 129 to 161, now we're all the way up to 349, that's over a $100 adjustment. And then another bigger adjustment, and then another bigger adjustment, and then another bigger adjustment. So you gotta make sure we know this. When we look at stuff like this, you have to think about your Roth conversions. You have to think about um, the choice of depositing into an IRA versus a uh, Roth. So traditional pre-tax IRA versus Roth. There's going to be a lot of choices. If you're anywhere near that 103 or 129 or 161 and you're over 65 or disabled and over 60, you've got to know this chart and it changes every year and we've had some drastic changes, okay? So not only part B gets bigger, but part D gets bigger as well. When we look at the married, it's the exact same scenario. It's the exact same dollars here and here. So part B premiums and part D premiums, but they essentially double these buckets for you. So if you're under 206 as a married couple, you don't have to worry about your IRMA, which is that adjustment to that Medicare premium. But you start going over 206 and you're rapidly going to change higher and higher and higher and higher. If you are married filing separately, this might really hurt. They only have a couple of tiers. So be careful about being married and filing separately. Some people think that's great on taxes, but then you're going to get really hurt by this Medicare premium. So be very careful with that. Um, it's not very friendly when it comes to the IRMA for married filing separately. But married filing jointly, essentially these are double and uh, we can see how it rapidly increases. So be careful about your, uh, usually we see problems with this when people decide to arbitrarily just take money out of their IRA and put it in a Roth. Okay, that's known as a Roth conversion. So be careful about these things. We're choosing to pay taxes on that Roth conversion, but now we have to worry about the increase in that premium. So another $70 a month times two for two people if you're married, uh, that can add up to a whole, whole lot of extra shadow tax, little scary tax that you didn't think about. So what do we do if we want to lower our IRMA, if we don't feel it's justified? Well, if there was a life-changing event, then certainly they're going to allow you. The most common one is pretty simple. Back in 2022, when they're looking at that tax return, I worked that year, but here I am in 2024 and I'm retired. Well, there's a great reason. There's a quick, easy form. It's the Medicare Income Related Monthly Adjustment Amount Life-Changing Event form. You go grab that form and you can actually fax or mail it directly to uh, your local Social Security office. 
or if there was maybe an adjustment on your return, we forgot to report something, or maybe we had a deduction we could get, or maybe we're going to make a deposit into an IRA to lower that income. So if you have an amended income tax return, you don't even have to file the form. You just need to alert them to go recalculate it based on the amended tax return. So there are ways to do this. The most common, again, is loss of income, reduction of salary, uh, retirement, whatever the case may be. Marriage can uh, cause that change as well. If you get in late life marriage, uh, that might change the calculation because remember, it goes all the way to two, over 200,000 as a married couple. So you might be over the single Irma, but together you might be under the married Irma. Uh, let's see, divorces obviously could change the numbers. Uh, death of a spouse can change the numbers. Uh, so there's lots of logical reasons that people are going to be able to amend these. But notice, Roth conversions are not a reason. Oops is not a reason. I don't see oops on here. <laughs> so understand that there are logical reasons that uh, you can file them to file for them to revisit this and make the adjustment. But um, but it has to be under these categories in order to do that. And you either have to fill out the form or file an amended tax return and alert them to go recalculate it. All right, I hope that helps just going through and demystifying Irma and this shadow tax. I keep hearing it being called. There's lots of these fun little shadow taxes out there. Uh, and I'll try to come up with a few more of these videos on those scary shadow taxes. So uh, if we can help out in any way, yourinvestmentcounselor.com, that's your portal to me. You can schedule an appointment with me uh, and I'm always happy to help. Uh, give us a call, 800-345-3155, and we have our full schedule of full classes. We rotate every single month into a different topic. So uh, FPFEAZ.org is our nonprofit organization that we do the financial education through. Uh, jump on that website. You will find our full schedule, uh, lots of opportunities for live Zoom classes. Uh, so thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.